last video, we finished up the bottom coating of the boat using the coated epoxy. As you can see here, it turned out really, really good. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this garage opened and start prepping the boat for primer. I'm gonna be using my uh, Craftsman sander here. I'm using 80 grit Diablo discs. I'll throw some links in the description if you guys wanna check them out, but these worked really well, so I highly recommend them. The first thing I wanna do is get the old decals off. I'm just gonna be using a razor blade. I gotta say the wire wheel made quick work of that now if i was trying to preserve the paint on this boat like i wasn't repainting it i'd never do something so aggressive but for just getting this off real quick it's worked out really well so now the last two things i need to take off are the old registration numbers all right so with the easy part out of the way and now i'm going to go through and sand all the sides using the orbital sander we can get started on the primer With the boat fully sanded down, now we gotta get this cleaned up. First thing I'm gonna do is spray some degreaser down on top of the coat it. That'll get rid of that oily residue that can develop if you apply it in humid weather. If you guys want more information on that, I have another video where I show you guys how to prep and paint epoxy. Uh, I'll link that in the description. Then once I get that all sprayed down, I'm just gonna do a full rinse of the boat. That should get all of the sanded material off. So I'm starting to wipe down the bottom of the surface. We're gonna use rubbing alcohol on the exterior of the boat and then acetone to wipe down the epoxy. I wanted to try using an airless spray gun. I've never sprayed paint before, aside from a spray paint can. I'm gonna be sticking with the Rust-Oleum Topside products. I was really happy with them last time, so we're gonna continue that. I'm gonna be doing the Battleship Gray for the bottom of the boat, followed up by a gloss black on the exterior. Before we lay down the colors, I'm gonna be putting down a coating of the Rust-Oleum Metal Primer. So I got this off Amazon. It was a little bit more expensive than the cheapest ones, but I noticed that the amperage on this was five amps versus the two and a half amps for the other ones. So I'm assuming this one's gonna be a little bit stronger. Let's go ahead and get the paint gun out. This thing's pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Now hopefully this just strains right through being fresh new paint. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect, all right, I don't actually know how much I'm gonna need to do this boat, so I'm not gonna fill this up too much. Rustoleum calls for mineral spirits. I don't have mineral spirits on me, but I do have xylene. Biggest difference I could find was that mineral spirits will evaporate quicker, so your paint dries faster, and xylene evaporates a little bit slower. So if you're doing larger surfaces, this is actually a better thinning agent than mineral spirits. <clears throat> okay, I'm pretty happy with this consistency now. Let's go ahead and get this hooked up on the gun. And then we can give this a test on some wood just to see what our spray pattern looks like, how much flow we have, do any adjustments before we hit the boat. All right, so we're all hooked up here. Let's see what it does and you know, we'll adjust it from there. That's a lot of flow. A little bit better. Okay, well this has a much bigger spray than I anticipated, so let's just go ahead and knock out the boat. Don't worry about my seat, it's shot. That's why it's half bent and been used as a stand. Okay, well, not too bad. Not too much overspray. It's a little thicker than I was expecting. Maybe I should lower the flow rate. All right, let's try over here.
All right, so good news and bad news. Bad news first, I definitely ran out of primer. Good news is I got the paint sprayer dialed in, but first time using a paint sprayer, pretty happy with how it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. We'll take a look and see how it looks after, and then I'll make a decision. So today, before I throw down the next layer of primer, I gotta do some sanding. Basically, the, the rear transom just needs to get leveled out. Definitely got the biggest hit of extra paint. So it did kind of run, if you can see it. It's very, very minor. I bought some sanding blocks today that should just smooth that all out. On the sides of the boat, there was only a few places that it did run. Oh, we got some runs here. A little bit on there this was where you know i had my settings wrong basically this corner and the transom is where i was just dumping paint i think maybe about half hour out here with a sanding block we should get this layer down pretty good and then we can throw down another layer of paint all right so first things first let's check out the sanding block and see if we can knock down some of the runs on the back of the boat here Oh yeah, that's doing a great job. You can feel the difference. And you can see where it's actually hitting the high spots. All right, well that worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some of the runs out over here. Yeah, if you can see, the run basically goes here, right here. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and grind out some of these runs. I got one big one here and then one on each side, and we should be good to get our next layer down. All right, well, the sanding block worked out really well, cleaned up all of the runs. Everything just feels completely smooth now, so I'm really happy to see that. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Uh, same thing as last night. Do about 5% of the xylene there as my thinner. I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up. All right, well, if you guys found this helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the John Boat build and see how the paint job turns out, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.